never lied to me. Besides claiming to be a mobster when you really were a cop. Let me guess, you just talked to Maxie. No, why? Was she here? Yeah, she dropped in to question me again about my intentions for you. I guess in her eyes, now that I'm Sonny's son, I'm nothing but a lying playboy who doesn't respect women. So, I will be taking what I need from you and breaking your heart, just so you know. She had no right to say that. Uh, look, Maxie, she was just trying to be a good friend. It was harmless. I think I said her straight anyway. But if it wasn't Maxie, who was it? Tracy had a few choice words to say about you. No, really, actually, it was just about Sonny. And about how I'm going to be just like him, right? What she said did not make me doubt you for a second. She just, she went off about Sonny and, and how he treats women. And it's not like she's wrong. I've seen what Carly's been through over and over again. They, something bad happens and then Carly claims it's over and then Sonny works his magic and reels her right back in again. And no matter how much you deny it, deep down, you're afraid I'm gonna be just like him. It's okay, you, you can be honest with me. I mean, if you have any doubts about me or you, you don't think you can trust me, you can say so. I'm relationship challenged. It's not something that I've had success with, like, ever. Well, this is the first time for everything. But I'm sure you've noticed with this kind of stuff, I'm, like, a little gun-shy. <laughs> Why, no, you, come on. I'm trying to be serious here. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just that when people say that you're too good to be true, Intellectually, I know that they're wrong because they don't know you like I know you. But I have this feeling, I don't know, this part of me that reminds me that I've been here before and it's not going to last because it never has. I know how we're going to fix this. Really? Yeah. I'm going to take a lie detector test <clears throat> and you're going to give it to me. I'll teach you all the telltale signs they told me when I became a cop. When you're interviewing a suspect, you're trying to figure out if he's lying or not, and you can ask me any question you want. Okay. But how do I know that you're not lying about the telltale signs? <laughs> and, and you give a damn about protecting Johnny Zakara? I'm not protecting anyone, all right? I thought Lucky the truth. I mean, if Johnny wants to come in here and drop all of his cash on my table, that's his business. All right, and my good fortune. All right. Well, Carlos is still waiting for a call from you. I need those cigars. And there goes any hope of you stepping up as a father. And how would you like me to step up, wife? Shall I send Ethan off to bed with no supper because he's been playing with gangsters? Shall I withhold Lulu's allowance because she's kissing a cop? What about Lucky? Shall I take his car keys away? I mean, he's only a grown man whose love of his life has been screwing his brother and maybe pregnant with his kid. Okay, this is me backing off. Clearly, my input is not appreciated. Hey, look, I'm sorry. I know that all you want to do is help. But it's not up to me, and it's not up to you. My kids are adults. And right or wrong, they make their own choices. Are you done? I'm leaving. Hey, look, I don't want to beat this dead horse anymore. It's just that I feel compelled to advise you to be very careful as you proceed to get involved with the mob in this town. Look, I have no plans on proceeding, period, okay? I, it was a one-time deal, you know? I'm a, I'm a lover, not a fighter. You know that. I deal in cards, not guns. Yeah, okay, Come okay. On. I don't need the phony... Reassurances, believe me. Look, it's just that I've been in this town a very long time. I know the attraction of mob life. I also know the disadvantages. And I'm just saying that you're a man with talent. And you're going to use that talent. So when the time comes, proceed with caution. Don't just jump in impulsively. Think it through. That's all I ask. Okay, I will. You know what the secret of survival is in mob life? Always get enough information to join the side that wins. Right. I need...
Okay, so let me make sure that I remember this. If you're lying to me, you're more likely to avoid eye contact, your pupils will contract, your movements will be reduced and stiff, your breath will alter. Let's drop your... the breath one because every time I see you, I'm, I'm breathless. Really? I thought we had moved on from the cheesy pickup lines. Uh, excuse me, did, did, I, did my pupils contract? Did I look away I, when I said that stuff? I wasn't ready, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, okay. Okay, but we can start. Yeah. I think we're ready. Sure. Okay, <laughs> all right. First question. Do you like jelly on your pancakes? No. All right, that was very, very honest, I can tell. <laughs> all right, next question. <laughs> Are you secretly a Boston Red Sox fan? No, wait, never. How can you even bite, you bite wow, your tongue for sorry. something like okay, that? Okay, okay, that's very truthful, I can tell. Wow. All right, next question. Boxers or briefs? Well, actually, today, neither. Ooh, you appear to be very truthful right now. I think I might actually have to verify. Nurse! No, 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 we don't need nurses. We need to finish Okay, the test. all right, fine. All right. Next question. Do you love me? 